Hello and welcome to Athena's Creations 2017. I'm Athena Turk, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 2017. And today, this evening, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite new stamp sets that is going to be in the new mini catalog debuting, I believe it's September the 6th. This is the So Sincere stamp set. And it is... It's got this beautiful million dollar sales person and that is Sandy Hancock. She designed this stamp set so sincere. It's red rubber clean and I have to say all of the sentiments on here are absolutely amazing. And something that stuck out to me when I saw this in the catalog was this happy birthday that was coming down the side. I immediately thought of a fun fold card and this is what I came up with. I just couldn't wait to stamp it. And of course, like I said, all of the sentiments are just fabulous. Hope your day is a happy one. Happy birthday. Knowing you brings joy to my heart. Lo just love spending time with you. Your kindness is so appreciated. Be grateful for what you have. Be proud of who you are. Hope you're feeling better soon. Just for you. So thankful for you. So very proud of you. And you're in my heart and prayers. Absolutely love this one. And... I want to share with you how simple and easy it is to make this fun fold. The uh, base of the card is five and a half by seven and three fourths, and it's scored at four and a quarter. And we're going to be using for embellishments the Tinsel Gem Four Pack. It's got beautiful new colors, and we're using the Starry Sky Ribbon, the Starry Sky Ink. And we're going to use the Handmade Tag Punch. I always like to label my punches so I know what they're called. And that's a really fun punch for the inside. And then also we're using, for the birthday part, we're using the Bright and Beautiful Memories and More. And you can see this one, it's um, four by six. And so I've cut it down to this piece right here is five and a fourth by three and a fourth and then there's this little strip left over which is five and a fourth by three fourths. I'm just going to flip it and then of course when I cut down um, cardstock um, to four by five and a fourth I have these little pieces left over and I thought oh that's perfect and that's exactly what I did there. So let me show you how easy that is. To stamp. I've got several of these extra. Red rubber, happy birthday. I'm gonna open it up like a compact, just like that. Happy birthday. Tap, tap, tap. And then I just line it up approximately the middle. Voila, love it. And then I'm gonna come in with this one. Hope your day is a happy one. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm just gonna kinda of line it like so. And then of course, if you have like a three by three, stamp that again, just like that. Then you can come in with your punch. And you can pretty much put it exactly in the center. Just like that. It's super easy to do. So now I've got two different sentiments. This card is fairly quick and easy to put together. And it looks really good. So it's a lot of fun to make, actually. Here's my card base. Get my handy bone folder. And burnish those 
score line. Just like that. First thing I wanna do is go ahead and adhere down this piece right here. I like to center it as close as I can. Hold down one side and lift up the top flap. Apply my adhesive. To me, that's the easiest way. <laughs> And I'm going to bring in this tiny little strip that was left over. And again, it's just the, this piece right here. And I want to just center it ever so slightly, just like so, but flush, meaning all the way to the edge of the card. And again, I'm gonna hold down the bottom. I don't have any fingernails. <laughs> Lift up the top and apply a little bit of that adhesive. Make sure it's flush all the way. And apply some more of the rest of the adhesive there. And then I'm gonna come in this one's going to be centered on there as well. I'm going to go ahead and just apply my adhesive. You can use liquid glue, you can use tear and tape, or stamp and seal. And now, this is going to be the, an interesting part, too, that I wanted to share with you. Um, let's see what it's going to go this direction. I like to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back. That's what I'm going to also bring in. This ribbon. Because I kind of want it to have a little bit of, how you say, a little character there at the top and just like that. Let's see if you've got some little bit of a curl right there going on. Super sticky. And then another little curl there. And then one here at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna trim it like that. To me, that's the easiest way to get that on there. And then to adhere this down to the front, I'm just going to put that right on top. Be very generous with our dimensionals. Oops, that one kind of bent. Okay. And so now apply this to the front right there in the middle and then the last part is to bring in this tinsel gems four pack and when I get a catalog I always like to write all of the um, information so this is the pretty peacock blueberry bushel Berry Burst in Lemon Lime Twist. And we know that all of these colors look fabulous on this color here on this card. Let's see. Let go with one there. And let's go with a blue on either side. Two. Three. And let's bring in some green down here and then a little yellow whoops where'd he go let me just pick him up with the putty part and put him right there and now we have our finished card 
and it's in a fun fold. Easy, happy birthday. Hope your day is a happy one. I believe on this one I used Memento ink, but I love the dark blue color of the Starry Night. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoy this and look forward to the debut of this So Sincere beautiful stamp set of sentiments. Happy stamping!